Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through epididymal cysts. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash scrotal lumps or in the urology section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Epididymal cysts occur at the head of the epididymis, at the top of the testicle. A cyst is a fluid-filled sac. An epididymal cyst that contains sperm is called a spermatocele. However, whether something is an epididymal cyst or a spermatocele doesn't really matter because the management is the same. Epididymal cysts are very common in adults and they affect around 30% of men. And most cases are asymptomatic. Patients may present having felt a lump or they may be found incidentally on ultrasound scans for another indication. Examination findings with an epididymal cyst are a soft round lump, which is typically at the top of the testicle. The lump will be associated with the epididymis and it will be separate from the testicle. And it may be possible to transilluminate larger epididymal cysts. When you transilluminate them, the illuminated part will be separate from the testicle, which can help you differentiate it from a hydrocele. Usually, epididymal cysts are entirely harmless and they're not associated with infertility or cancer. Occasionally, they may cause pain or discomfort and removal may be considered. Exceptionally rarely, there may be torsion of the cyst where the cyst twists on itself and this can cause acute pain and swelling. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.